Hey guys, uh, welcome to Code and Box Automation Lab. This is Sherville. Today we're going to learn very important uh, web topic, which is frame. I uh, will see what is uh, frame, and then we'll see how we can handle frame in Selenium. So, what is frame? A frame is a part of a web page or browser window which display content independent of its container, with the ability to load content independently. The HTML or media elements that go in a frame may or may not come from the same website. So, example, let's uh, go to one page. This is a jQuery site. So, if you see here, uh, you can see this is a frame. We'll see how we'll find out uh, how we know this is a frame. But just for now, you know, I can say this is a frame. You can say it's a separate, uh, you know, the, the box and inside there is a uh, two e element. So how can we handle frame? First, we'll count how many frames we have in our page by using size method. The size method, okay, and uh, then so first we have to locate the frame how are we gonna look look at the frame if we have more than one frame here is the thing uh, doesn't matter how many frame you have in your page all of the frame started with the tag name it's called iframe this is a very universal tag so in this is a, all is for all of the frames started the tag name with iframe example Let's uh, select this, uh, you know, uh, this frame. We'll see that it's a frame or not. So let's right click inspect it. And then we can move it here. Let's move it here. And we can see. So this is okay. Let's spy it. So this is the frame. You can see. If you see here, okay. Here is this is the code. Okay, it's a reflect the frame. It's a, uh, you know it's save. Uh, it's a should display the frame, highlight the frame, and you can see it started i frame. So i frame is the tag name. So if you have a more than uh, one eye a frame it doesn't matter how many all of the frame uh, will start with the tag name it's i frame so we can easily locate use the tag name i frame then we can uh, use the size method like this we'll use driver dot find element since it's a we, you know we're assuming it may have more than one or one so we'll use ele find elements and then we'll say by tag name and is it what is the tag name it's iframe then we'll use size method so it will return us total how many frame we do have and after that we have to switch our driver from our regular HTML base to frame because you know uh, the, the driver cannot read the frame you know uh, and cannot go to the frame just like a HTML page so we have to say our driver here driver switch from HTML page to frame so we'll say driver dot switch to method then frame we have to tell the frame number this is an index number so so index number is started by zero which means it's a first frame if you have more than one frame we'll use the number as for the index okay if it's a first in the first frame we'll use the zero if you have a second frame if you want to move to the second frame we'll use the frame uh, number one so that's a way we'll account following the indexing so let's do an example so this will be our our page and after we land this page we'll uh, in a switch our driver to this frame and then so we'll get the size and then we'll pass the frame number since so far this is a one frame so you, our frame number would be zero which is a one frame and then we'll drag we'll uh, drag this element and then we'll drop it here so 
it means we need to spy this this element and this element so when you do the drag and drop we will use drag and drop you know keyboard uh, the mouse uh, even this is a mouse event to drag and drop any element so we have a method it's called drag and drop so we'll use that a uh, drag and drop method from the classes uh, from the action classes from the actions class so we'll use that one we'll see this let's do this so first we'll okay i so let's uh spy it good let's code it so here i created uh i uh, sorry here i created uh, uh, one class is called the frame example okay and this is uh, the setup as it is like web driver from uh, 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 web driver key and this is the path of the web driver and uh, uh, you know this is uh, just uh, uh, the pre uh, regular things we do set up as a web driver it's our uh, interface and it's a chrome driver is our uh, the classes and relation between this and I use uh, uh, the regular maximize the window and this is the uh, page to land okay and after that so first as I said I will uh, see uh, you know how many frame we do have so this will be like this so first so let's comment it what we're doing count how many frames we have so after we land the page we'll see uh, driver dot driver dot find elements we'll use the elements again it's it will use the elements since it may have more than one frame dot by okay tag name we'll use the tag name by tag name and then what will be the tag name we know that's iframe i iframe and then we'll use the size method we'll use the size method right so that we know how many frame we do have let's print this okay let's print this whole thing so it will print and tell it tell us how many frame we do have so and right so and then and after we know how many frame we do have okay we have to switch our driver switch driver to frame using the index number okay this is the command so this is our next step yeah let's run it save it and run it and see this how many you know frame we do have it shows okay run it Okay, loading the page okay let's close it and see what shows in our console okay it shows one it means uh, we have only one frame so which is the index it will be zero so we'll say driver dot so we'll driver dot switch switch method and then we'll say frame frame okay what would be the it would be zero okay zero so which is that the only one uh, the first uh, frame so after we switch up there we have to um, let's go there uh, we have to spy we have to you know a drag and drop this uh, this uh, element from here to here so let's spy this so this is the one okay so it has an ID I can see it has an ID draggable so we can use this one easily okay we can easily you can use this one okay copy xpath let's see choose xpath ID is draggable. Okay, let's use this. And 
also I need this one too so let's inspect this one too this is okay ID equals to droppable so we can use this ID xpath where we can have the both xpath so we can easily use this so one is drop draggable another one is this droppable so we don't need this one anymore okay so next we're going to so it's uh, since uh, we're going to use uh, drag and drop method. So this is the uh, this will be the. Uh, let me show you. We're going to use drag and drop method, uh, which is the part of action class. So this is the next part we're going to do. Create an object for action class due to use drag and drop method and drag and drop method this is the syntax of drag and drop method let's put the syntax of the drag and drop method okay drag and drop there will be source and target so our source would be the first element that will hold it drag and will uh, and the target would be our the next element where will be drop will drop the element so we have both of both of the elements we have already locate locator we already have the x path so let's do it so let's create an object of action class we'll say okay new actions and then we'll pass the driver right and then we'll put in a variable say uh, a example and then the return type would be actions all right so the hover our mouse input the package for the action class okay now for the drag and drop okay uh, let's use the for this uh, we have to we have to you know get the source and target so let's uh, locate our source driver dot get uh, driver to find the element find the element by id we'll use the by dot id id so what's our first elements id id it's we know this is the id let's use the id this one okay we can use ID or XPath, anything. So let's use the ID. Okay, ID, so sorry. I'll go to double quotation. Okay. And after that, okay, let's put this one, this whole locator, um, in a variable called source. Source. And the return type would be wave element. Return type would be wave element. Sorry. Wave element, right? Let's hover our mouse, import the wave element package. Okay, similarly, so we'll get the target one. Okay, let's copy the target equals to it would be driver dot driver dot find element so it's gonna be pretty much the same thing we'll say driver dot find element by id uh, but this time the id for the other one would be droppable this is the one again you can use xpath too so i'm just using you know id that's fine and then it will be wave element two. The return type would be wave element, right? Okay. So now I have a uh, source and target, so I can use easily use drag and drop this method. So let's use the drag and drop. So I will say, what is the uh, object reference is a for this action class? I will say a dot. A dot 
drag drag and drop okay you can see source and element this is the one so i have already source and target and then what i want to do i want to so remember this uh, when you use a action class we always have to after we uh, you know use any of the method from the action class we have to at the end we have to build and execute and and perform we have to call the build method and also we have to use the perform method to execute the code okay so pretty much uh, that's it we're going to do inside the frame so after we finish our job inside the frame we have to get back uh, uh, our driver to a default window so that's what we have to do so how we can you know get back to the HTML default window so this is the one so it means when you finish the job over here drag and drop you know we have to our driver is still inside this frame so we have to give a command or tell our driver hey driver get out from this uh, window iframe so it will come back to the regular uh, HTML page over here and do something else so we will do something else so what means is uh, to confirm that we are out of the box we'll click um, say simple photo manager will click here okay to confirm that the driver is outside of the box and able to do regular uh, uh, you know other job so let's spy let's spy let's spy this uh, this simple photo manager so that I can click up there okay so this is the one let's copy export and then this is the export okay so I will click up there after I get off get out from the frame so to to go back to default window after we done in frame we have to uh, use uh, there is a we have to we have to switch our driver we have to use the switch method to default content there's a default content there is a method so we'll use this one we'll say driver dot switch driver dot switch dot uh, default default content it means it will get out from the frame okay and then let's click on simple manager let's click on simple manager uh, button or link so this is the one to do this we can use this driver to find the element by expert so we just got the expert for the simple ma manager uh, for my simple photo manager and then we'll click it there and at the end we'll close the window driver dot close okay. okay looks uh, pretty good let's save it and run it run it shell application okay, it's running Okay, it's landed to the page. Oh, it was very quick. So it was very quick, uh, but it's it's uh, did the job. Because you can see it's printed one. Uh, it means it's the output of the uh, the frame. We we you know we did over here. We said system. We printed the how many frame we have. So, so size is one. So it was it did complete it. Okay, it did the job. So pretty much. Uh, that's it that's the way we'll handle the frame if you have a frame in your page just always make sure you know uh, uh, first count how many frame we have uh, using the size method and use the tag uh, you know uh, tag attribute it's always uh, uh, the value is iframe and after that do whatever you do inside the frame you know uh, by passing your the frame you know frame number and then do whatever do uh, whatever you need to do and uh, and make sure this you 
get off the frame you know which is the your default content using this default content method okay that's it uh, for this tutorial and uh, I will see you at the next tutorial thank you so much